Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx, on YouTube and The Captain. Um, I just want to share with you this handmade vintage Wonderlust mini album. It contains three Traveller's Notebooks, um, and it has um, my one that I've made is coming, it comes with two key charms. So, one I've done on the side here, I've attached on the spine on it. And it's done um, with a, attached with a parrot clasp, and so it can be removed. And I've also I've made this little purple um, one with pearls and a little pink beads in it, and that could actually be attached. Take the other one could be taken off, and that could be attached there. Or I've done a bulldog closure here, bull clasp, bulldog closure. It could be attached here, if you chose on there. Tally up to yourself, or you could use this and put it somewhere else for another project on your bag, purse, whatever. Now, this um, this one is based on Genevieve Designs, um, our vintage Wonderlust mini album. Um, it comes in various sizes, and this is the large one that I've made. So, basically, what happened was I bought our templates and I've added things of my own in. Um, she's got lots of videos out there for you to see how you could make this up, but this is the one that I've made that is for sale on my Etsy, Minx Creations UK. So she calls it a hybrid for the simple fact that you make the cover, there's three um, pages that open up inside it, and there's pockets, etc. attached to that. Then you slip in, you make traveller's notebooks from various papers on her templates or your own stock of stuff, a bit of a mixture. So in mine, I've made some with her papers, some with my own papers, and the traveller's notebooks um, slot in. And once they're full, um, you can take them out, put them somewhere else in your house room, whatever, and then you can put new traveller's notebooks inside it. But you keep the cover and you keep... You, um, the other three um, pages that are in there, they stay standard all the time. And so it's just the traveller's notebooks you replace once they get full. I hope that makes sense. If you watch some of her videos, then it would it will make sense. But I'll try and show you as we go along. So I'm also using her papers, Floral Whimsy. Um, some papers are my own, but this one on the front is from her collection as well. Floral Whimsy. Um, Genevieve designs. Actually, they're beautiful papers. So I've actually used card as well. Attached these double-sided on. They've been inked and stitched with my sewing machine going right round the cover, just for added effect. And that's the spine. The papers are beautiful. And um, sometimes you can do them that with the papers you can have just cut to here. Then you do a separate spine with a different colour. But I actually liked it full like that. Um, it stands up, it's hardback, it's like a book. And this is, I didn't know if I mentioned, maybe I did. This is the large mini album from um, those templates. And um, the sizes of it are, the height is eight and a quarter inches roughly. Um, the width is across is four and three quarters um, inches. And the spine is one and three eighths on that spine for the depth there of that, what's inside it. Now, I've put bulldog clips on because that's the amount that's in mine at the minute that I've made for you to use. And obviously, if you stack it up with things, it will get wider. So hence, there's a bit chain here. It's quite simple. You could either open it on these boot rings, but and you could add charms there if you want to. As I said, you could use the, uh, add this little charm that I made on there that you'll get with this. Um, but the simple way, or you could put ribbon in there as I've did on one that I used myself that I made, one of these um, hybrid Wonderlust mini albums. I've, I've stacked mines with various things and I put ribbon on mine, but I wanted to do it with chain. These open, that opens, etc. So you've got a choice how you want to open it, but the, open and close it. But the simple way is just to take one of them, undo it, and that's it open. And then you can just close it that way. So, you know, if you've got problems with your hands or fingers, maybe a bit of arthritis and you're doing junk journaling, mini album, whatever, um, that can save a lot of hassle um, for your hands. It's a simple closure, open and closed, simple like that. So this large mini album, as I said, it contains um, the cover. Then there's three open book pages and thick card with pockets, side pockets, and then it's got three traveller's notebooks inside, and they contain envelopes, inserts, tags, bootlets, handmade bootlets, tuck spots, flip-outs, 
uh, and photo frames, etc. And also um, paper paper clips that are paper paper clips that I've printed off from my and cut out uh, from my brother scan and cut. There's a little uh, one on there that's a little person. There's a bird. Um, I think there's a phone, a telephone, but we will see as we go along. I'll try my hardest to be as quick as I can, but there is a lot in it. So on this side, I've made a side pocket and these colours, some of these papers, as I said, they came from Genevieve Designs. That's one of my paper, paper clips, by the way. It's a little person, I've inked it, and you can put it on the top, you can put it the side, you can uh, put it on anything that you want. You could use it on another uh, project. I've done a side pocket here and a little photo frame there, a photo mat. So I've done a little notebook here with a stamped little bird on it and it's been inked with Coco Brown. They're either been, I've done a mixture, I've used um, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Ink, the Stress Ink and I've done Coco Brown. So it's just whatever I felt like doing it. So this is a little notebook here. I've put one of Genevieve's photo frames on the top. Um, so you could put a little picture in there and all I've done is some coffee stain papers inside here and I've just doubled them over basically. Oh, this one it flips out. So I've done a flip out like that for you to do journaling in. Or you could add pictures really as up to yourself. Opens like that, crochet thread in the middle and then two other bits here. And you could write on here, you could put pictures on the back. Um, so that's one of the little notebooks. Got this little notebook and I've put a label on the front for you to maybe could be a birth dates in here that you could add in um, dates things like movies whatever so you could add in throughout this wonderless mini album you could add in your ephemera um, journaling photos and maybe uh, things places that you go maybe postcards etc and then we've got this large envelope done with that um, Floral whimsy paper. Oh, I think that's really beautiful. Um, you could put something else in there. That's the front of it. It's got like writing on it. And what I've done inside here. Oh, I've just put in three light postcards. They're quite long ones, so you could journal on the back, picture on it, like that. And I thought that was quite nice. Parts of a postcard, and I've just put them inside there. So that's then set off the cover. So that stays there basically always and these outer pages stay here always as well but when we get to the traveler's notebook i'll show you how it can be taken out the first traveler's notebook there is three in it so again we've got a pocket i've put on here so that'll always be stationed and a tag and i've put one of those little paper paper clips on the top and it's blank on the back journaling etc we've got this tag with a little bit of organza ribbon blank on the back and this little envelope, what have I put in here? I've got a few wee goodies in here that I'll take out. It's, this one's been made from card. So let's see what I've popped in here. We've got a little notebook here. So you could either have it that way, your little notebook, or you could have it up and down like that on there. Sorry, that's my washing machine on at the minute. You've got a couple of wee bits like this, like a tag. And that could be stuck on somewhere in the journal. Another one of these. And some of these little paper clips here. So the little bird that slots into the page. You've got a person. You've got like a coat sign. And that could be just glued on somewhere as a tuck spot. So pop them inside the little envelope here. Up on there, just like that. And then on the front here, I've got, um, I've made a second little pocket on top of a pocket. So there's your pocket glued down. There's another little pocket with washi tape on it. And all I've done is put in some of these from the floral whimsy. Just a little, that could be stuck somewhere. Put some rails and three of these that could be stuck to the side and made into flips. Um, if it was glued down part of it, you could slip something underneath. So I've actually doubled that one over on that. So you could use that as a tab top or something like that. But the other two are just sing singly done. So it is really up to yourself. And I just thought the colours looked nice in it. Um, and I thought, yeah, that would look good in there. And it's trying to create space. You could put photos in here. It's trying to create space 
for you to put lots of your own stuff in. Isn't that paper beautiful? Now you could put a photo on that um, or leave it. So here's a little photo mat being made into a tuck spot and we've got one of these for journaling on with the little paper clip at the top and a tag. With organza ribbon you could do something here. So and this is as at the beginning, this is the first traveller's notebook in here. So I'm just going to check where it is. Where about on there that is. Okay. When I find the middle, I'll show you I've got an envelope in here as well. I've put in three envelopes. So this is how it becomes the hybrid. I'm trying to see I've put... The hybrid allows it to be with thick elastic here and there. It allows you to slip in a traveller's notebook. And I've got three of them in here. The traveller's notebook um, has been based, as I said, on Genevieve Designs. And we've got, I've put this little bird on the top on the paper clip, if you choose. It's entirely up to yourself. So I'm going to stick it back in so I can show you it once it's in. But like I said, that is one traveller's notebook <clears throat> in there. You, once that's full and you've journaled, written in it, etc., you can then put in another traveller's notebook into there. You just slot it in, open it up and slot it in as I'm going to show you in a minute. Find the centre. Um, of your little boot. I mean, you could buy little um, traveller's notebooks and slot that in here. And it, all it is is that. As simple as that to take out and put in. That's it. That's it. Fitted into your junk journal. Um, and I'll show you quickly what we've put in it. Leave the wee little birdie at the minute. So I've made a little top spot here under there, but you could actually put a photo. So I've got coffee stain paper here, which is my stash. I've made a flip here. I'm just going to put in that little birdie somewhere. Maybe on the front. I just don't want it slotting down. Little birdie. I'll find a place for it, don't worry. As we're going on in it. So we've got this flip out page. Like that for you to journal in. Maybe shove it there, eh? Let's get you on before I lose you. And we've got some washi tape at the top of this paper from a book. More coffee stain papers. So, I, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what's in each of them, but they're all quite similar. Some pages are from Gen... That's from Genevieve Designs, from um, her set. So is this one that's been doubled over. And there's a little envelope here that I've handmade with... It's got purple... And it's cages and birds, but I just thought it went with the floral whimsy theme. And, of course, it goes with the charm. It's got similar colours in there, and I thought it looked nice. There's three similar envelopes, not the same one, but off the same paper pad that I've made on each of the traveller's notebooks. I've just sat it inside. Um, so we'll do the other side. So you get a feel that there's quite a lot inside. Here's a little tuck spot here. And I've used one of those coats. And of course, you can add in all your own ephemera in here. Got coffee stain paper. Side pocket here that I've made, and we've got a large tag. This one, this one flop from the floral whimsy, and this one that flips up. Just got that in the back. Very pretty papers. So you and you could move this, maneuver this about. It, they where I've put the things you don't need to. You could put them elsewhere, and that is one of the traveller's notebooks then. That comes with that that section here is a, is the traveler one traveler's notebook. So this page stays, this page stays. So you have three of these pages in the, in the middle of that. So you have the cover, then three of these pages that are stationed. They've been glued down not to come off. But it's only the traveler's notebooks in each section that you can take out, and that becomes the hybrid of it. Um, so we're on. So there's this page here. You could put something in, and this is the second traveller's notebook in there that can be removed this one here on this and that's the centre just to let you see there's a bit of elastic in there in there so we'll quickly go through it this is vintage this is the vintage wonderlust this paper here on it 
Okay. A couple of tags I've put in there that you could, eh, frames that you could actually put elsewhere. Put a little photo in there. Up to yourself. So I'm going to go as quick as I can through this because my video on will be going on for ages. When I go to upload it. That's the second of the little envelopes. Got little beautiful butterflies and it's in a sort of mauve colour. Um, which I feel goes. And each of the signatures have something inside glued to them on the crochet thread and I think it's flowers. I think there was pink little flower shapes. That one's purple. So let's see. This one's a flip out. So it's like writing paper. I've got one of these person people paper clips. Paper paper clips. That's quite how me to say. Another flip out here. Well, obviously you get metal paper clips and that's paper paper clips. So we've got a little frame here with a little tuck spot here and you could write something on there. Flip out here. Another side pocket and you've got a large tag. Large tag here, blank on the back. You've got this bit of ephemera from the Genevieve Designs Floral Whimsy. That one is this one. Lovely. And this one. So on Genevieve Designs with tags and things, you can buy your tags. You can also buy papers that she does, the colours for paper, and you print it off first onto your card or paper, and then you can print out her tags. It really is. Um, I love all of her stuff. I've bought a lot of her things um, over the over the last couple of years or whatever. And um, But that, some of it might be expensive for some of you. I don't know. Um, probably is but if you make and um, if you like making things etc and the fact I've made m most of the things or all of the things I bought from her I've made for myself first and for family and friends so this is just a little frame there you could slot a picture underneath so that is the traveler's notebook number two there that section here on that color so this page is stationed to there and inside here we have traveler's notebook number three so Here's a pocket here and I've tried to put in as much, stack as much as I can into this one. And this is a large, I've got something similar that I've um, oh, laminated on the other page on the inside of the back cover. But this one's not been laminated, but I thought this could either be a tag or when you're journaling, well I'll show you the laminated one at the end, when you're journaling on a page, I actually thought you could put the laminated one underneath it right and then it doesn't mark the back anything else. That was the intention of these big tags, etc. Or, or, or a way they could be used. So what else have we got here? We've got a little notebook being made. That's lovely paper too. Eh? That was out made, my own stash. And that's coffee stain papers inside there. So a few sheets, front and back. And it gives you a place, gives you a place to put in your own stuff. Now a little junk journal. That's from Genevieve, that one. But the coffee stain papers I made myself. And I've just sewn it in. Very simple. Now, uh, tons of people on YouTube that show you various ways. Genevieve herself shows you things. A little tag on that and a photo mat, photo frame there. Um, let's see. So just trying to stack in what I could in there. I've made a little pocket on top. So there's your pocket. Then I've made another little pocket. Basically a pocket that I ripped in two for this edge. Added one of my paper clip things. My paper paper clips. You've got this little thing here. On that. And I just thought it was cute. As I say, to these pages, the station pages have all been stitched as well on my sewing machine. Beautiful paper that. So that's us on to... The third traveller's notebook here. And I've made a little tuck spot and I've made just stapled this with a few sheets of coffee stain paper. You could do a picture there. A little tuck spot with that for journaling on. This is us on to the third traveller's notebook washi tape there. I'm just checking them in frame. But as you can see, there's various different types of paper, ledger paper line paper, uh, just a book paper, grid paper here. 
and uh, I just at random took pages and that's the centre of the third junk journal traveller's notebook sorry junk journal traveller's notebook you use them all the same and this handmade envelope in there which I think is lovely and that's the centre of that one's got pink flowers on it so the bit of elastic is in there if I'll ping it to let you hear it so you can take that traveller's notebook out and replace it when it's full this is the opposite side of it little page stuck there the opposite side of the traveller's notebook I haven't counted the pages on each little flip out there I haven't um, counted them but as you can see there is a lot little top spot here with a little handmade it's got a little scrapbook notebook here booklet I've just used paper uh, stapled the top we've got a side pocket in on this side pocket what have we got here we've got this little handmade notebook which I think is so cute and I've put a label on there a smaller version of the one on the front it's got lined coffee stain paper and a few bits flip out on there and that's the back okay on that one I've got a few tags here large tag this tag all from Genevieve Designs. I've just inked the edges, put a little bit of organza on the big one and left the other ones and that's the back of that traveller's notebook and I've left it blank. Journal on pictures and this is a station page. All right, and this is one of the books that stayed in I've, that'll be stationed and I've put a belly band on it and inside here I've actually added a large tag with organza ribbon this bit of ephemera little notebook with a birdie on it seen its flowers on the theme for the wonderlust and this little envelope that's got like a doily um, look on it and I've made I think there's two things in here nope yep little photo start Pardon me, excuse me I've just folded over to make a little notebook you could stick that on the front of that if you choose but I've left it for yourself you, you could actually stick that on the front of that envelope if you chose put a little picture on it but I've just left it for yourself or use it somewhere else in this handmade vintage wanderlust um, mini album with Traveller's Notebook so that's that and then that's the other side of that paper and then in the inside back cover that's stationed as well we have got quite a few things here so that's the telephone paper, uh, paper paper clip and I've put it on this side pocket and this is the laminated one that I did I'll put that back a bit so you can see I've laminated that um, so that when you place it down let's just find a bit that's got a page so for example see this if you went to write on it sometimes if it's bulky at the back it can mark it etc but if you put down that and then start your journaling it will save any lumps and bumps come up or you can use it at that side of your paper just like that and journal and it'll help it, it'll not feel as bulky with having the laminated tag or placemat, whatever you want to call it at the back I keep it at the back, you can put it somewhere else what else have we got here? we've got a large envelope here so you can either open it that way, like that tally up to yourself and we've put in a little notebook in here so I've got it standing up the way just handmade and a couple of these pages that are stamped with a little bird and a little owl so for more journaling for more photos and you could put pictures in here like that I think that's beautiful paper as well um, and I've got one of these which is like a little handmade pocket and this came from Genevieve Designs a lot of people make them out of these little ones I've made out of card but you could do it with um, like tracing paper vellum, things like that um, I've got a large tag as well photo frame in here I've made this little handmade notebook so coffee stained it's very simple a couple of pages of the line there and that on the front to put in and a couple of a tag and a little bit the tag ephemera that you could use you could glue it down somewhere else in the junk journal entirely up to yourself so these are what you get 
make sure you're in frame. I'm in frame, sorry, and that pops in the back to keep it all in. So you get, as you can see, you're getting quite a lot, and that is the back of this Wonderlust vintage Wonderlust mini album with Traveller's Notebooks, and you're just clipping, sorry, opening that and closing it. Very, very simple closure. Now, as you can see, that's it. That's when you get to see the bits that are stationed inside, the bigger bits, with the Traveller's Notebook. So I quickly wanted to show you this at the back that you're getting, that's clipped on, that's been handmade. So with wire, chain, etc., I've put some beads on and ribbon here and tangle, tied that in and twisted it in on it. So that can come off using the parrot clasp or you could put, uh, put that on. This little one here, this little would look cute as well with it. So you get a choice of two. So this Wanderlust mini album is going to be for sale on my Etsy shop, Minx Creations UK. Um, I will leave a link down below for Genevieve Designs as well for, so that you can have a look at it if you want to. So many thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.